guess I have to go. I have to get up and go. It's uh, oh my god, it's uh, five o'clock in the morning, early in the morning, and I have to be ready. I have to go to the airport and catch the plane, and I'm heading to the Faro Islands today. So Faro Islands, here I come. Some of you and many of my friends have asked me why going to the Faroe Islands. There are some reasons why I chose Faroe Island as one of my Europe destinations this summer. Number one, Faroe Island is the most remote set of islands in the Northern Atlantic Ocean. Reason number two, because of her remoteness, Faroe Islands is the least traveled destination in Europe, causing the islands to be in her natural setting. Reason number three, the sheep population, yes the sheep, the sheep population, S-H-E-P, outweighs the number of human population. Reason number four, there are practically no trees in the Faroe Islands. There are grasses, but no trees. Reason number five, is a great island for bird watching. The puffins. Reason number six, Faro Island is a hiking destination. Reason number seven, Faro Island is what they call the Death Tunnel. These are single lane tunnels, dark tunnels that makes the northern set of islands navigable. And I think this makes uh, traveling to Faro Islands more challenging and breathtaking. Reason number eight, in the midst of modern technology, Far Islands still do not have what we call Google Street View. What Far Islands have is what they call the Sheep View. Interesting. Reason number nine, the food, the forest food, seafood lovers, meat lovers, you will know yourself in the islands. Vegetarian? Like me? Vegan? Good luck! Join with the ship! There's a lot of grasses!
Hey folks, I'm finally ready for my flight tomorrow. I'm carrying two pieces of luggages. One that fits in the overhead compartment and it weighs 20 pounds. Reasonable. The second one is my backpack, which is the personal item. This contains all my immediate needs, documentations, passport, tickets, and everything, including my snacks. And it weighs 15 pounds. Very light, isn't it? <laughs> this day is the last day of my workout here at the gym. So I did uh, all, uh, all, the, all, all the routines I did, but I, what is this? I got, I have this. So every time I travel, I have this and uh, it gives my routine, all right? This right now, keep healthy, have a good summer, and I'll be, I'll be coming back home soon. Right. My last day at the gym, so I'm flying out tonight uh, at Faro. So I'll miss the pool, but I'll be back soon. All right, so uh, just keep healthy, and stay healthy, eat right, and uh, swim. So I'm ready, I got my luggage packed, all light. I got my backpack and I'm just waiting for my uh, airport shuttle. So I'm flying out from uh, from San Francisco and I am flying to Faro Island. I'm, I will uh, be in Iceland and then uh, flying to the Faro Island. Waiting for the flight, uh, just a cup of coffee and a cookie. Welcome to Iceland, I just arrived today, so I'm heading out and taking the flight lesson. Welcome to Iceland. Your attention will be caught by this unusual structure facing the Atlantic Ocean. It is called the Sun Shield. Close to the Sun Shield is the harbor, which is the world class. Opera House here in Iceland, facing the Atlantic Ocean. Hi, I'm here in Iceland. 
one. This is my second time. It was here last year in the same exact street. This is called the Light of the Lord. this pastries. Let me get in, I'm hungry. Time to get some groceries this time. Let's get in the bonus. It's a beautiful day here in Iceland, so I'm here in Reykjavik. So I left my hotel and today I am uh, flying to uh, Far Island, okay, to Thorshavan, the capital to Bagar, and then going to Thorshavan, uh, the capital city. So I am uh, walking, uh, right now I'm using my GPS. I came from my hotel and uh, according to this, uh, it takes about, it will take me about a 25 minutes uh, walk. It's about two kilometers. It's a good morning exercise. So I, oh there you go. The thing is that I got the phone covering my face with a, with a bright sunny day here and here. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's summer and it's, uh, last night it was uh, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning, there is still sun. People, people were out, so I am in my hotel. All right, so I will see you uh, in the Far Islands soon. Have a good one, travel along, see you at the Faro. Made a great day, by the way. So here you can see on the side uh, the, the tallest uh, church here in uh, in Iceland.
Hydra. I'm here, Cape Borde, in uh, Atlantic Air. This is the official air airlines of the Faroe Island. And here is Zimbo. And I selected the last seat, uh, the window seat this one, so, so I can have a good cool shot. So some of the islands, there are 18 islands in the Faroe Islands. And I'm heading to Gaul, which is uh, one of the main cities in the, the main island. That's where the airport is, and then I'll be uh, uh, renting. I have a car, a rented car, and I'll be driving all around the island, right? So, you know, okay, from the in, a, in about an hour, if, an hour, 15 minutes, or an hour, 30 minutes. So, I'll be on the island, all right? Far island, here it comes. It is important. Cheers. five minutes drive but it took me almost an hour uh, you know <laughs> as a new driver here in Faro and uh, drive, I drove slow and I encountered uh, four uh, tunnels and this time two two lane tunnel this is great this time so I got the rent from the car so pretty good so it's an Isuzu so I'll, I have this car for four days 
So first time to drive outside the United States uh, since I traveled, but uh, this time I decided to because uh, Faroe Island is a destination that you can explore by uh, by driving. So there's not a lot of public transportation here. So here, take a look. The view. Uh, I heard uh, the the sheep mooing, mooing. Okay, so and uh, here that's the that's the, the hotel and see you can see the the top of the roof. There's starf and. This is a, these are grasses and this is basically used for uh, insulation. That's what I uh, learned from uh, the research I did for coming to Far Islands. All right, so my hands are shaking. Apology for the <laughs> it's cold, <laughs> it's and windy, and then in Far Islands uh, the uh, the the weather is very very unpredictable. So you got the heat, uh, the cold, the wind, the sleet, the snow. And uh, this time it's summer, all right? So I gotta go now. I need to check in the hotel. I'm freezing and I'm hungry as well, all right? Bye.